Some of us have been arguing for at least 10 years that this phenomenon needs much more attention and much more concerted intervention. We've been saying that child migration is a substantial issue. It's here to stay. It's not just an errant aberration that happens, you know, occasionally. But the authorities have really failed to systematically attend to this. So in the U.S. in particular, there's been a dearth of services. Uh, to this day, unaccompanied child migrants have no uh, right to legal counsel. They have no right to a guardian or somebody who's going to sort of hold their hand in loco parentis uh, through uh, proceedings. And so this has created a huge vacuum of protection. And I think now with this enormous surge, um, the authorities are really concerned. Of course, there's the very practical consideration about where to accommodate them. So, you know, detention centers and other facilities are being opened all across the country to house these young people. Um, they are trying to also think of ways of increasing access to some form of, of counseling and representation. So President Obama announced a couple of weeks ago that he would provide through um, uh, government uh, assistance, a um, hundred paid counsel to represent children. So that's a drop in the ocean, of course, if you think there are a hundred thousand going to come in this year and there are a hundred, that means a thousand kids per advocate, so it's not a great ratio. But it's an indication that the administration is thinking about the need for some sort of protection and some sort of uh, representation.